In this video, we're going to take a look at how you perform a test that provides you with extensive information about the wireless network that you've connected your Chrome OS device to. In order to run this command, you need to load the Chrome OS shell, also referred to as Crosh. To do this, we need to press and hold down the Ctrl and Alt key, then press T on the keyboard. A browser window will open called Chrome OS Developer Shell. From within the crosh, you can see that we're presented with a command prompt. To run this test, we'll be using a variation of the Network Diagnostic command. As there are a number of variables that can be used with this command, let's type help network underscore diag to view the help file for this command. As you can see here, we're now shown a list of all of the variables that can be used with the network underscore diag command. However, the variable that we are interested in for this video is the option to use a Wi-Fi command to display driver-specific debugging information. So at the command prompt, we're going to type network underscore diag space dash dash Wi-Fi. When we press enter on the keyboard, we are presented with the results of the test that were carried out by the computer to our wireless network connection. As you can see, there is a lot of data which is probably of more use to a network engineer rather than you or I. However, we can pick out pieces of information from this listing that could prove useful when trying to diagnose an issue with your wireless network. As we have scrolled back to the top of the results, the first useful piece of information relating to our wireless network is frequency. Our frequency result is reporting a number of 5,500. In the UK, the 5 GHz frequency is actually divided into three bands. Band A, which is between 5.15 GHz and 5.35 GHz. Band B, which is between 5.47 GHz and 5.72 GHz. And band C, which is between 5.27 GHz and 5.85 GHz. As the frequency that we are connected to is 5,500 MHz, that would place our wireless network in band B, which is between 5.47 GHz and 5.72 GHz. Each of the 5 GHz bands have been rated for different uses. Band A is for indoor use. Band B is rated for indoor and outdoor use, while band C is rated for only outdoor use. This is useful to know as each band defines how much maximum power the wireless router is allowed to output, which in turn determines how far your wireless network can extend and what types of materials it can penetrate. As we now know that our connection is in band B, we can extrapolate that this wireless connection is using a wireless channel between 100 and 140. Checking our test results, we can see the DS parameter set as channel 100. This means that we now know that the wireless router we are connected to is broadcasting on channel 100. So now armed with this information, if we were experiencing interference issues from another wireless router, we could solve the problem by simply adjusting our wireless router to use a different wireless channel. Finally, the last piece of information we're going to review is signal strength. As you can see here, signal is minus 57 dBm. For dBm or decibels relative to a milliwatt, we need to work in negative numbers and the signal works within a range. So anything between minus 30 and minus 67 dBm would be classed as a fantastically fast wireless network signal. Anything between minus 67 and 70 dBm is okay, but anything over minus 80 would be classed as not good or unusable. As the signal strength to our wireless network is minus 57 dBm, we know that we have an excellent signal. However, 
If we were experiencing problems with slow download speeds or issues with streaming content, by looking at the signal strength, we may be able to narrow down if the issue relates to our wireless network, our internet connection, or the server we're trying to connect to. Let's now scroll back down to the command prompt. To close the crosh, we need to type exit at the command prompt. When we press enter on the keyboard, we are returned to the Chrome OS desktop. As the results from our Wi-Fi diagnostic test have been saved to a text file on our Chromebook, if we open the file app and then select downloads, we can review the results from the diagnostic test we have just completed. This can be useful if we need to send the results of the test to someone for review or to get a second opinion.